back at CS2018 on our display link booth here, and behind us we've got hot desking solutions. So hot desking has become a real hot topic for a lot of people right now, and you'll see that we've actually got an enterprise tower here to my right. An enterprise tower environment, every single floor of the building has different challenges to it. it might be different operating systems, it might be different requirements from an architecture perspective, some using Intel, some using AMD, some using different architectures completely, maybe some using tablets, maybe even procurement are using Chromos because if they lose the machine, they're never going to lose all of their data. So, behind us you'll see we've got this beautiful monitor setup. This is actually all connected in to a single arm solution with a docking station at the bottom of it. So let's go in and take a closer look. We've got the latest human scale dock right here. This is a Type C M Connect 2 solution coming into the market very shortly. We're lucky to be able to have an early access to show this here at the booth. And we've chosen a glass desk for a very simple reason. This dock has a very, very clever design. From here, you can have accessibility to all the transient ports. Those ports that a user really wants to plug in, whether it be a hard drive for backing up or a thumb drive to share data or headphone sockets. There's also a charging port, which will give 15 watt charging for Type-C as well. Under the table, then, we've separated out a secondary dock area. That's really for IT. So underneath the desk, you've got all of the ports that would connect up these two 4K displays, your corporate LAN Ethernet, as well as USB expansion ports that are giving you things like keyboard and mouse, things that you don't typically disconnect on a day-to-day -day basis. So a very flexible solution from Human Scale. But what's more, Type-C connection into this dock, so we can also Type-C to Type-A or Type-C to Type-C. So over here on the notebook, we're going in Type-C right now. They've also provided a USB-A adapter, so that's giving you flexibility to plug in legacy computers as well.